Hello gentle viewers, this is Avendian, welcoming you to a new installment of Tabletop Simulator and the board game Flashpoint by Your Rescue. This game is created by Kevin Landing, Lansing sorry, and is published by Indie Cards and Boards. Uh, maybe it's Indie Boards and Cards, I can't remember the, the name. Um, and this is a cooperative game in which the players play a group of firefighters and you're trying to rescue seven people so that they can survive. Um, like most great games, there are an absolute ton of expansions for this game. Um, I'm playing with just the base game because right now Nomad has the expansions. Um, but that's fine. Uh, and we're playing with what are called the family rules. So unlike most board games, Flashpoint Fire Rescue includes two complete sets of rules. The family rules and the experience rules. The family rules are what we'll be playing with today, and I'll just walk you guys through how you play the basic game. Um, but if people want to see the experienced game at some point, it adds a lot of flavor to the game. Um, it takes it from being a pretty solid cooperative game to an absolutely brilliant one with lots of specialized roles and extra things you can do and a fire truck and all sorts of wonderful things. It's really, really good. Our goal is to save seven people before the building collapses. Uh, or before four people die. And we do this by carrying them out and putting out fires where we can and just in general trying to get stuff done. That is what we're trying to do. Um, these question marks are the people we're trying to save. Some of them are false alarms and some of them are not. If someone has a false alarm, well, then we just know there's nothing we can do about that. Um, so that is what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to get everybody out of the house that we possibly can. And when we have saved seven people, we win the game. Uh, here's the turn order of the turn order. So every single turn we'll spend our action points. We'll then advance the fire. And then if anyone is missing, we replace a POI. Uh, the yellow rules are the experience rules. So I won't be talking about those in this run through. Uh, and then here are the different things actions can do every single turn. Moving is one AP, going through a fire space is two. Moving with the victim is two. Um, opening a door is one. Extinguishing smoke is one. Extinguishing fire turns it to smoke. Get rid of it completely for two. We can chop down walls, and that's what we can do in a turn. Now, the really cool thing about Flashpoint Fire Rescue that other games don't use, that I know of, is you can save your action points. You can bank a total of, uh, I believe it's four. Or maybe you can, yeah, you can bank uh, basically four. So if, if, let's say I have, I do things and I'm like, I'm going to run out of numbers here. Uh, I can save one for a future turn, which is pretty handy. So let's go ahead and get started. I am the white firefighter and the family rules, all the pawns are the same. You can pick any color you, you set your heart on. Uh, so I'm going to take one action point to go here, two to go here. Three to open the door, and four to move in here. Now, a free action is inspecting a POI, which is not listed here. That's annoying. I'm pretty sure that's true. Uh, let me quickly check the manual, which I have in front of me. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I am checking. Yeah, here it is. So I have to be on the space, but it is free to uh, to flip it. So that's my entire first turn. I entered the house, I opened a door, and I'm going to check this person out when I get a chance. But here's where things start to get crazy. Now we see what happens with the fire. And I roll both of these dice. Five, seven. 
So five and seven. And oh dear, we're starting off with a bang. I would normally put a smoke token here, but I can't do that because there's already fire here. So what that does is it causes an explosion, which is very, very bad. So uh, the first thing that happens is I would put a fire next to each space uh, that can. Uh, in this case, uh, thankfully, here's a wall. Here's a wall. And I think it does spread fire, right? Not a smoke. Correct. So basically the fire wants to go here, but it can't because the wall's in the way. But it's badly damaged now. Uh, we place a fire token here. But oh no, I can't put a fire token there because there already is one. This causes what's called a flashover or shockwave. The game uses both terms. Um, what this means is it's going to keep going through all the spaces that are on fire until it hits an open space, a wall, or a door. And it stops once it gets to wherever it's meant to get. So in this case, this would cause a flashover, and it keeps going in that direction, and it sees a wall, and it hits the wall. So this person here is in a lot of trouble, um, and I don't really have a quick way to get to them, so I'm just going to have to do what I can with the people I can and hope for good things later on. So, uh, I replenish a POI, but I don't have to because none of them were lost, and I now move to here. That's action one. This is free. It is a person, so I'm going to move here with the victim, which is another two, and oh no... I can't move with another space, so I bank an AP token, and then I can use this next turn. So we are on our way in two more turns to get this person out of the building. But let us roll to see what happens with the fire. So this is four, five. Now, this is not as bad. Because uh, it only ever places a smoke. But this is when the flashover effect is triggered. If there's ever smoke next to fire, then this becomes fire. But of all the things that could have happened, that's not the worst. POAs are fine, so I'm going to go two to get you here, two to get you here. I'm still banking this extra point. I haven't used it yet. Roll for more fire. And we get 3-8. Which is just going to be smoke. All right. Two action points. Oh, thank you. You saved me. And she goes over to the rescued spot. Uh, so this person is now completely safe, and I can then go from there. Um, now, I, I want to remind myself about moving around the building. No, I think it still counts as a space. So what I need to do now is I need to get down here and save these people, or at least try to manage the fire. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go three, four, five. I'm going to spend my extra action point. My goal is basically to get in here, deal with the smoke, and maybe even chop down this wall if it's what it takes. Dice. Two, two. Well, we cause another explosion. Uh, that's not great. So first, there's a fire here, there's a fire here, travel, travel, wall. Now, one of the things that I did that was actually incorrect, um, this is going to stop only when it hits a wall, smoke, or a door. 
Um, yeah, it's an open space, smoke. Oh, no, it does actually do an open space. Okay. So it's a go travel, open. So I'm going to put fire there. And then it stops. It doesn't go any farther than that. Um, so now this room is pretty badly on fire. Um, the last thing we do is replenish a POI. So at 5-7, we would place another point of interest. Now there's actually currently a fire there. And I'm trying to remember what that means. I think you just roll again. Oh, it actually removes the fire. Okay, that's pretty neat. So yeah, then I remove the fire here. And I put a POI right here. All right, turn done. One, two, three. The thing is, since I'm on this space, I don't want to get set on fire, so I'm going to use my last action point and remove the token. So here we go. We're going to roll for dice. There it goes. So we're stuck on its side. I get four, three, and that would be smoke, but it turns into fire because it's surrounded by fire. Oh, dear. This house is in pretty bad shape, and I've only saved one person. All right. Now. Does chopping go all the way through the wall, or does it only inflict one damage on the wall? It only places one. I basically have spent the entire turn chopping. That's not ideal. But there's also no easy way to get in here, if I'm honest. So I'm going to go one. I'm going to spend two to use my axe. And then I'm going to bank my fourth action point for next turn. Now the good news is, uh, once I get through this wall, I can very easily get this person out of the building. So that's the good news. Let's roll for fire. Six and eight. Thankfully, this is just smoke. All right. I still have three people on the board. I like this person just hanging out in the house, just like eating dinner or whatever. It's fine. The rest of your house is on fire, bro. You should maybe leave, but that's okay. Uh, so I'm going to use 2 AP, and I'm going to cut down this wall. This wall is now basically not here. 3. And it's a false alarm. This was all for nothing. Son of a bitch. I'm going to put that over there. Uh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. If I get a bad roll of the dice... Uh, this person's dead before I can get to them. So I'm going to go ahead and immediately use points four and five. This is a bit risky. You don't want to put more damage on the board because once all the damage is there, the building collapses. But I have to do it. It's the quickest way to get this person out of here. Assuming it is a person and not another false alarm. Jerk. I'm going to put that there just so I don't forget. Now I roll for fire. One, three. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, it's smoke adjacent to fire, so it becomes fire. That's fine. And then we need to roll to place a new POI. In the exact same place. So then I immediately remove this and then place this person here. All right. One, flip. It is another person or a mushroom if you're looking at it upside down like I am. There we go. Two, three. 
and then I'm going to bank an action point for next turn. Gosh darn it, quit falling over. Whatever, dude. Um, there we go. All right. Roll these dice. Four, seven. Four and seven. That's going to be smoke. One, two, three, four. He is out of the place. Hooray. And I'm going to spend one more action point to go back into the building. We always roll for the fire first. That's seven, three. So three, seven, that's another smoke in here. POY is going to be four, six. Right here. Okie doke. So we're going to go one free action point to remove the smoke. Three to open the door. Four to check this out. It's another false alarm. Well, I'm glad we're getting them out of the way now. And then five to go back in here. No, five to turn this into smoke. That'll at least help contain the fire, even if it doesn't put it out. We got four, eight. And we got three, three for the new point of interest, which takes care of that fire for us. All right. One, two, three to remove this entirely, and I'm going to put out the smoke on my own tile. Because I'm pretty sure you can put out stuff that's adjacent, right? Yeah. If I can, I'd like to clear a path so I can take this person out this door. That is my long-term goal here. Four, four. That is smoke adjacent to fire, which becomes fire. Shit. All right. Well, I'm going to spend two action points to put that fire right back out. Three... I'm going to turn this into smoke. No, I'm going to turn this into smoke. Because this can never... This can't turn back into fire unless it lands on its space. Um, yes, that's a reasonable thing to do. Four, one. That's going to be some fire right there. All right, one, two, I'm gonna ignore that. It is a person. I'm gonna put out this fire, three, four. So I'm here to rescue you, ma'am. Uh, or I would be if I could stand up. I'm apparently drunk, like all the time. Um, now it's still gonna take me a fair bit of AP to get her out of this house. Um. But that's the cost of doing business. We can live with that. Let's roll for fire. One and two. One, two. That's an explosion. So fire here. 
And because fire hit another fire, it causes a shock wave. And then fire there. So this way out's now a whole lot more dangerous. Like, a lot, a lot more dangerous. So much so that I think I'm going to make the hard decision, and if this is a person, it's just going to die. Because I can't get there. I can't get through all that fire with by myself. So I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to use my last two action points to get rid of that fire. And I've got a fairly clear path to either one of these doors. It'll just take me time. Uh, so I'm going to roll for fire. That's six and eight. That becomes a full-fledged fire. But other than that, no biggie. So one, two, three, shit. No, it's one, two, three, four. That's right. I keep forgetting I can't go directly through here. I'd have to chop the wall, and that's not worth it to me. Oh, uh, that's five, six. Another explosion. Uh, so this is going to hit this wall. It's then going to hit that wall. If it hits an open space, it's just instantly fire, right? Yes. And then this is another space with fire, so then this just pushes the shock wave. Again. Oh no, that wasn't there to begin with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fire always gets put first, and then this would hit a shock wave, and then it just keeps going till it hits a wall, an open space, or it hits some smoke. So, okay. This room is also becoming deeply problematic. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Roll some dice. One, six. Bit of smoke over here. No big deal. One, two, three, four. She is saved. Hooray! And uh, we are almost halfway through a victorious run of this game. Uh, this will not last forever, though. 6-6. Six, six. And uh, Kablamo. So the first thing that happens, um, I don't know if it just knocks over a door. Okay. So yeah, and it, okay. So here's the target space. This door is gone now. It's then gonna hit that wall. It hits another fire, so this is gonna push and it's gonna take out that door. These get removed from the game. That's never coming back. Uh, it comes through here, it causes another shock wave, it then hits that wall, which is now gone. And uh, that's where we are. The last thing I do, of course, is we roll for a new POI. One, five. Right here. And I'm going to be honest with you, that is a much easier place to reach than just about anywhere else. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. We roll for the fire. Uh, one, one. This is not great, but it is a thing that happens. So first we have damage to the wall, damage to the wall. There's fire in both of these, so it's gonna go until it hits uh, an open space or a wall. So this goes shockwave, wall. Now, can shockwaves kill people? I don't think they can. I think it has to be fire that's on a POI space. 
Oh no, actually, it's an open space. It causes fire. And now we flip this over. It was a false alarm. It was a false alarm. That actually wasn't a person in there. So that means we're, we didn't lose anybody yet. We do need to place another POI. 2-8. That's convenient. All right. One. Oh, no, sorry. One, two. It's the dog. You gotta save the doggo. Three, four. Okay. We're doing pretty good, but that can change in a heartbeat. One, seven. Now, smoke next to smoke is no big deal. It's fire next to smoke that causes an issue. And smoke doesn't cost any AP to move through any faster. Uh, but fire does. Uh, so that's why you want to put out fires as quickly as you can. So I'm going to go one, two. And then I'm going to do something It's going to seem a little bit strange, but it's the best decision. I'm going to spend a third point to get rid of this smoke. Because all it would take is another smoke on that space if I ended on it, and it would knock me out. And it would kill the doggo, and we can't lose the doggo. That would be un okay. 3 6. The smoke is in this room. 1 2, 3 4. Doggo is safe. Hooray! Probably get a lick on the face. But I mean, we've got our helmet, our mask on, so it protects us from doggo slobber. And then 2-7 uh, is some more smoke. All right. And then finally we place a new per point of interest at 2-7. Now you can place them on smoke. You just can't place them on fire, I want to say. I don't think it gets rid of smoke. Oh no, it does remove smoke as well. Perfect. All right. This person is, is might get saved, but they're really on the other side of the building. There's only one of me. It is what it is, bro. One, two, three. It's a false alarm. Four. That is also a false alarm. Son of a bitch, did I just put a false alarm back in here? I did. That means the next five people in there are actually real people. As is almost certainly this guy. Because there's only... There's six false alarms and 12 victims. And I removed three from the game. So yeah, this is all... All the false alarms are gone now. Everyone else is a real person or pet that we must attempt to save. Where did I go? There I am. So, uh, we're going to roll for advancing the fire. That's 3-4. Always start with the red, then you move over. It would be smoke on smoke, so this is fire now. Then I've got to roll twice for people. 4-4. Four, four. Oh, that's, that was a cat. I mean, I already knew that was a real person, so that's not a big deal. And then 2-7. There we go. Well, I'm going to take the easy road. Uh, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because I completely forgot I had that saved action point. Roll dice. One and seven. 
This actually turns to fire. Just enough to give this guy a scare. But then we gone. One, two. Five people have now been saved. And then I'm going to go three. I'm going to turn this back to smoke. Roll once for fire. That's two, three. Oh dear. So the first thing that happens is this wall is damaged. This shoots up. That wall is damaged. Uh, open spot is fire. Wall is damaged. Guys, I've only got four cubes left. If I can't place any cubes, the house is collapsed. So we got to be booking it. I think I need to start trying to get this fire under control so that I have a way to get these two people out faster. That just has to be... Oh, no, I, haven't, I get to roll again and see if a new person gets placed or where a new person gets placed. Uh, two, four. Four and two. And there we go. This person is probably screwed, I'm going to be honest with you, but I'm, I'm going to try. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. If I can clear some of the fire out of this room, it'll reduce the chances of another explosion. Uh, three, two, just kidding. Um, so this blows the door off the hinges. Uh, this just goes outside. So now outside is on fire. Uh, that hits a wall. And that causes a fire. So this lovely young lady is dead. The fire has claimed its first victim, and I feel certain it won't be its last. Oh no. Um, one, two, three. And then... Oh, sorry. Before I do anything else, I have to roll for a new POI. That's at four, four. Uh, what if there already is one there? Can I put two POIs in one space? Free roll. Yep, okay. Roll, 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 roll. Three, five. Sorry, five, three. All right. So anyway, I had gone one, two, three, and then I was going to save my last AP token. So I'm not going to roll to advance the fire again. Two, two, son of a bitch. So, shockwave, 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 fire. Now, I don't remember if the house collapses when you are out of cubes. Yes, it does. Fuck. Oh, this room got out of hand. And we have unfortunately lost all the remaining victims. The game is over. We have been defeated. Because all the stupid cubes have been placed. <sighs> Poop. Uh, so that is an example of Flashpoint Fire Rescue with the standard family rules. Um, if you guys want to see the experienced rules, it's really quite different. And it's actually a little bit more interesting. So you guys can let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm feeling a bit uh, more competitive now. Because I've lost every cooperative game I've played so far for this channel. I promise, guys, I'm good at board games. I'm just not good today, apparently. Or whatever day. 
Uh, so next time we're going to play some... Hmm. Next time we're going to play Fallout. Based on the video game of the same name. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. So that'll be for next time. Uh, thank you very much for watching the channel up to this point. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, do subscribe, comment. Especially if you want to see another playthrough of Flashpoint with the experienced rules. Because um, it adds a lot to the game. Uh, it both makes it easier and harder. And if I play this game again solo, I'd probably use more than one pawn. I think with two, it's, it's just a little bit easier. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I bid you good day.